what? Hit it fast, hit it slow, hit it like whoa, 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 whoa. I need a milli, whoa. Need to put on for my city, whoa. Need a boss out like I'm Diddy. I need to pull up with the stars on the Bentley. I say, whoa. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Vito back again for another video. And today, we're going to be getting into the April 2021 sneaker releases. This is gonna be a list of my favorite sneaker releases of April 2021. So this is the sneakers that I'm most looking forward to and the sneakers I'm gonna be going for and in turn, think you guys should go for. I think there's gonna be some money to be made in April. It's gonna be raining money. Um, we got the nice spring slash summer vibes coming in now. The weather's starting to get nice. So it's actually super exciting. It's time to start wearing your kicks again, guys. And that's an exciting time of the year when you can actually Break your kicks out and don't have to just wear your beaters every day. So before we get into the video, guys, if you guys are new here, make sure you guys go subscribe to the channel right now. If you're new and you haven't done so already, make sure before you even watch the video or after you watch the video, doesn't really matter when you do it to me, just make sure you hit the like button, smash the like button, give this video a big thumbs up because it helps your boy with the YouTube algorithm and comment down below. Leave a random comment. Let me know you guys watch. And without further ado, guys, let's get right into the video. All right, you guys, so coming in at number 10, we have the Sean Witherspoon times Adidas ZX8000 Super Earth. So this isn't a sneaker that I'm going to be personally going for like crazy. I'm not going to really try for this. It's not a sneaker that I'm a big fan of, but I love Sean Witherspoon collaborations because he gets really creative, super creative dude. Um, so I respect the sneaker and it's not something that I would personally wear, but I'm interested in it. And I think this sneaker is going to do well on the resale market. Not quite as big as his Air Maxes, but um, it will definitely do well. I think the two nicest sneakers that Sean Witherspoon has released so far are his Air Maxes and his Asics. So um, I don't see this one being a big winner, but I do see it being a winner nonetheless. So I'm not really a big fan of this sneaker model, the ZX8000. I don't own one of these sneakers and I don't plan on owning one of these sneakers anytime soon. So I'm not too hyped about this release, but um, I do think that a collaboration with Sean Witherspoon is going to make this a pretty big hit and I'm sure people are going to rock with it and it should do pretty well on the resale market. If you guys are interested in going for this sneaker, it is releasing on April the 16th. So make sure you mark your calendars and if you're into this sneaker, well that's the day you're going to cop it. Alright, so coming in at number 9 is another sneaker releasing on April the 16th. We have the Air Griffey Max 1s. So this is released in another colorway a couple months ago. I think it was in January, maybe February, I'm not 100% sure. Not a sneaker that I was crazy hyped on, um, but I do think because it did well on, in the black and white colorway, I do think it's gonna do well in this new blue colorway. Not something that I'm too crazy on, but I think it's gonna do well, and I don't see this being a flop. I think it'll be a sneaker that people go for. So um, again, this is releasing on April the 16th. Not anything that I'm too crazy hyped for, but it will be a hot sneaker. Coming in at number eight on the list, releasing on April the 4th, we have the Air Max 95 Home Team. So you guys have seen this sneaker. If you follow sneaker news, you've seen that LeBron debuted this sneaker when he was courtside the other day. And um, we got a yellow shoe and a purple shoe, obviously for the Lakers colorways. And I think that there was more rumored colorways releasing um, to go with all of the Lakers uniforms. So that's gonna be a sneaker that's gonna be crazy. I, I like the Lakers colorways. I'm not a Lakers fan, I'm a Raptors fan until the day I die. But the Lakers colorways are a nice colorway and it's kind of just a nice little sneaker. Not, a, not something that I'm gonna go for too, too crazy because I don't really support Lakers colorways like that to the point where I'm gonna buy them and wear them because like I said, I am a Raptors fan. But I do think that's very interesting, especially with a collaboration or uh, when LeBron is heavily into a sneaker. We've seen something similar when he did his, I think they were LeBron 7s uh, or something like that when he on media day when he released those sneakers uh, in his Lakers colorway. We've seen it already. So we know that the sneakers uh, may not have the biggest resale value or anything like that, but it is definitely an interesting sneaker that people go for. So if you're into that sneaker, it does release on April the 4th. And then coming in at number seven, we have the Air Jordan 11 low in a legend blue colorway. This sneaker will be releasing on April the 24th for anybody interested. We've seen this colorway before, obviously in the high version and it did very well. I think this is a really nice sneaker way. It goes right in line with what Jordan Brand's doing with all of the university blue um, and those light baby blue colors that they've been releasing recently. 
you know, like, uh, like they did with the University Blue Jordan 1s. So I don't see this sneaker flopping, especially with spring and summer coming up. People are going to want the lows, uh, of course, much like the Jordan 1 lows. People love those as summer shoes. So there's going to be another sneaker that I think is going to be a little bit hard to get. Nothing too crazy on the resale value on these, I don't think. But it will definitely be a nice sneaker that would be worth going for. Now, top six on the list is where it really does start to get interesting, guys. This is where we get some of the more hyped and the more sought after sneakers that you would go for. This is where we're going to start making some money on some sneakers here, guys. So coming in at number six, we have the Nike Vapor Waffle Time Sakai in a dark iris colorway, which is releasing on April the 27th. If you guys didn't know, these are actually re releasing on my birthday. So hopefully Nike gives me a nice uh, birthday present and I'll, I'll actually allows me to cop a pair of sneakers for once. You know, hopefully they let me, but we'll see what happens. So um, this is actually a very interesting sneaker. One that I think is gonna hold a decent amount of resale value um, afterwards, but um, definitely not the nicest of the colorways that we've seen of the Vapor Waffles with the Sakai Vapor Waffles as of late, but it's definitely a nice sneaker nonetheless. So I'm interested in the sneaker. I'm gonna go for the sneaker, and I definitely think you guys should go for the sneaker too because uh, to my knowledge, they hold some decent resale value and you're definitely not gonna wanna miss that. So again, this sneaker is releasing on April the 27th if you wanna go for it. All right, we got a two-way tie, guys, for number five, for the number five spot on the list. I couldn't break the tie, much like I couldn't last month. Um, two very similar shoes. Well, they're the same shoe. It's the same shoe releasing on the same day in different colorways. So on April the 16th, guys, we have the Nike Dunk Low in the Spartan Green colorway, which is a little higher on my list. And then we have the Michigan colorway. So two colorways that are gonna be very, very good sneakers. We've seen the Michigans in the high. Um, I don't know if we did, if they did the Spartan Greens already, but that's personally the one I'm gonna be going for over the Michigans, but they're both very nice sneakers. So I will be going for both of them, but I'm gonna prioritize my resources towards the Spartan Greens. Those are the ones that I'd rather get, but I'm gonna get whichever one uh, Nike allows me to get. So two very nice sneakers. Dunks obviously have been doing very well and the lows especially are starting to grow on me more and more. I can't lie, I'm a hype beast and I'm gonna follow where the hype goes and that's probably why I'm starting to like them. But two very nice sneakers that are releasing on April the 16th. So mark your calendars and make sure you go for them because there's gonna be some decent resale on these. All right, you guys, so coming in at number four on April the 10th, this is gonna be a fan favorite. It is a fan favorite. I've already put a poll on my Instagram so I know that people want this sneaker. On April the 10th, the Jordan 5 Raging Bull is dropping. This is gonna be a super insane colorway, you guys. You need to go for this. There's gonna be money in it. Hopefully it's not too difficult to get. Um, it comes in an interesting box as well. It's a little bit different. So um, this is gonna be a sneaker you wanna go for because there's gonna be money in it. I promise you that. Um, this is a sneaker that people want. So it's a very nice Jordan 5. I don't personally wear Jordan 5s because they're a little bulky on me, uh, but I'm definitely gonna try to add this one to the collection just because it is a very, very nice sneaker. All red, um, very nice sneaker, and it's again releasing on April the 10th, so make sure you mark your calendars because that's one that you're gonna wanna go for. All right, you guys, coming in at number three, we have the Air Jordan 4 University Blue colorway releasing on April the 28th. This has been a hyped colorway all year. People want this sneaker. I've seen people get it early. It's been crazy. So we know Jordan's been riding that University Blue colorway. We know that people are in love with that colorway right now. So this is gonna hold some heavy, heavy resale if you wanna go for the sneaker. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. You need to go for the sneaker. This is a must cop. I'm not gonna lie to you. You need to get this sneaker if you have the chance. Enter every raffle, anything you can do to get this sneaker without paying too much out of pocket, you need to do it because this is gonna be a hot sneaker and you're gonna wanna get it, believe that. So this sneaker again is releasing on April the 28th. We know Jordan Brand loves to rock with this University Blue this year and um, we may have another one in this similar colorway releasing later on in this list. Coming in at number two, guys. We're in the top two now. So coming in at number two is the Air Jordan 1 Hyper Royal. I told you guys in my most anticipated sneaker release video that this is a must cop. 
This is one that I'm super excited for. I said I liked it over the University Blue Jordan ones, and depending on quality, that statement may still hold. I'm not 100% sure yet, because I've got these in hand. I haven't seen the Hyper Royals in person yet. So once I get them in hand, if I get them in hand, then we'll make the decision on which one I like better. But it's a, another colorway, really reminds me of the Turbo Greens, and if it does anything like how the Turbo Greens have done recently, well then we know that there's gonna definitely be some resale value there. Another hype sneaker that people really want this year, so I definitely recommend you mark your calendars for this one if you wanna go for it. It does release on April the 17th, so this is gonna be a sneaker you definitely wanna go for. Another one that's gonna hold some heavy, heavy resale because people have been dying to get this in their collection since it was rumored. Really, since it was rumored people wanted this in their collection and you gotta be one of the first ones to get it. If you can if you can get it on sneakers, if you can get it on any raffle, make sure you do so, enter everything. Cause it's gonna be a big winner for sure. And then, the most anticipated sneaker of April 2021. Now this isn't 100% confirmed. We don't know what's gonna happen really, uh, but it was just released as information today. With that being said, on March 31st, the day of me filming this video, they announced on April 29th that Travis Scott Jordan 6 is supposed to be releasing in a khaki colorway. So, if that does in fact release, I have that at number one. It's gonna hold an insane amount of resale value. It's a really nice sneaker, um, to say the least, and it's a Travis Scott collab. We know that Travis runs the sneaker game right now, and nobody's really touching him when it comes to collapsed sneakers. So we know that this is one that we need to get our hands on if we can get our hands on it because, I mean, at the end of the day, all of us sneakerheads are just some hype beasts uh, and we follow the hype. Not all of us, I guess. Most, some, some of you guys may just like what you like, but personally, I like what's hype. So uh, if, it's not, if there's no hype behind it, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, unless it's a really nice sneaker, I'm not rocking with it. So that concludes our list for April 2021, guys. Let me know in the comments down below which sneakers you're gonna be going for. What's your favorite sneaker from the list? Or if I didn't have it in the list, let me know down below what your favorite sneaker that is rumored or is releasing in April 2021. I wanna know your thoughts. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, hopefully this wasn't too long uh, for you guys, but I appreciate you guys watching if you made it to the end. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you go drop a like on the video and subscribe for your boy. We're on the road to 1K subs, so let's keep it rocking. And until the next video, guys, deuces. Peace. Whoa, I need a milli. Whoa, need to put on for my city. Whoa, need to bust out like I'm Diddy. I need to pull up with the stars on the Bentley. I say, whoa, I need a milli.